Um, anybody watch Teen Wolf here? The Teen Wolf film is coming out very, very soon and they released the trailer for it. And oh my lord, I have been in a feral mood since it came out, I tell you, if anybody cares. Spoiler alert, there will be spoilers for the Teen Wolf film and therefore all six seasons of Teen Wolf. So there's your spoiler one in, by the way. If you want to go and watch Teen Wolf first, I suggest you do that. But it'll be quick. It's one minute and 22 seconds long. I just want a reason to be manic, to be honest. I'm so excited for this, by the way. Feeling like I'm 14 again because I missed it so much and this advert was everything. Oh, that's awfully quiet in my ears. Uh. Don't know who he is though. Against him. Him. See, whoa, 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 whoa. These guys are from season three. These are the Oni demons. They're from season three. Peak. The peak of Teen Wolf. I'm not going to say anything in case I spoil it for anybody, but these guys were like, not them specifically, because they're not baddies, they're not goodies, they're quite neutral. But if they're back in it, if the Onis are in it, that means that the Nogitsune might be back. Because they never killed him. Because they used their divine move. Divine move? Divine move? This is this is what that's from. My uh, raid notification. Oh fuck, I'm so excited. I also feel like I recognise that voice. Oh the jeep! Oh the jeep! Oh the jeep! Let's go! Lyndon Ashby, my man. He's going to Wales Comic Con and I need to go to Wales Comic Con. That's we whoa wa wa wee woo whoa whoa. I'll come with that scene in a second. Wait, let me back up a little bit. Sorry if none of you actually know what this is, but I'm just having the I'm fucking having a great time here. Sorry, I thought this was a spiral because in in Team Wolf universe, a spiral means revenge, and I was like, who who'd be doing that? But it's not. Um, big Derek. Oh my God, Derek. Divine move. Divine move. Do you think you have any moves at all? You can kill the only one. Me? Me? I'm a thousand years old. You can't kill me! Melzy! Welcome on in. What are you doing? Back <laughs> off, you spooky bitch! I've been looking at Comic Cons because a lot of people are going. Mainly wanted to go to the Wales one because uh, Teen Wolf cast are going, obviously. And I was going to go to the Scottish one. There's one in Glasgow and one in Edinburgh. And the one in Edinburgh has the still game cast going. Some of the Red Dead Redemption folk going. It just looked a bit pish, to be honest. It didn't look quite as exciting as I thought it was going to be. But the Welsh one, for some reason, everybody's gone to Wales. All of the good folk have gone to Wales. The Dublin one also looks good, but no team will folk, so don't care. Don't know who this wee guy is. That's Derek. That is my favourite character in the fucking... In the whole thing, other than Styles. Anyway, going back to Team Wolf. Sorry about it. Really want a fucking Teen Wolf pack in Dead by Daylight and I've really, I've thought this out. I've got notes. I've posted one TikTok for Behaviour to see. Mystery- Play a new game. <gasps> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Back. This is a mystery character who must be human because you cannot touch the mountain ash without being human. And he's pouring out mountain ash. Mountain ash. Sorry. That's one of my favourite quotes from the whole fucking programme. Not all the characters have came back for the film, which really fucking annoys me. Including Dylan O'Brien has not come back, apparently. Anyway, who cares? Play a new game. Also, Ken how I mentioned the Nogitsune. This guy, this big, I'm covering him, sorry. The Nogitsune is a creepy looking, a creepy looking bastard. Wait now, here's the Nogitsune, right? He's a right creepy bastard. Yes, Adam, the bandage boy, this guy. Oh, this guy. He's so creepy and he <laughs> Void Styles is there too, sorry. This guy's the guy that's a thousand years old and you can't kill him. That, to me, looks very much like this guy from behind. And where have I gone? I'm here. The Nogitsune, they couldn't actually kill him. They just stopped his human form and then shut him away in a little basement for years because you can't really kill the demon properly, you know? Um... Yes, Adam, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Yes. And they said it was a new threat, but like we've got the, the Oni demons. Just this is giving me very much that vibe. And then... Game. Talking about playing games, which is all... He's a trickster demon, so it's basically a trickster from Dead by Daylight. But a bit scarier. Oh, that's my Twitter header. That's my Twitter header. Because I'm fucking obsessed. I am 14. It's fine. I'm not 14, Twitch. That was a joke. I'm 23. I just love that shot. I think it's really nice. Real nice. 
game of chaos. A game of chaos, strife, and pain. And those are the three things the Nogitsune feeds off of, right? Strife. Don't know who she is. And pain. This is it. Oh, go back, go back. Lydia, shut up. This, this is the nematon, right? It's an old Celtic word for fancy mythical tree. Underneath this, there's a cellar where the Nogitsune was trapped because they couldn't kill it. And it's under there, right? So the fact that they're going back to this fucking tree and we've got the bandage man, we've got the voice, we've got the Nogitsune, I think they're bringing him back, which is so underwhelming because they know that season three was their peak. And if they're just kind of trying to remake season three, that's going to be a bit pish. Also, because Dylan O'Brien's not coming back. And he was like, that's where Void Styles came into it, who is the most iconic character of the entirety of Team Wolf. Hey bro, oh, what's up, bitch? Lydia, one of my favorite characters. Lydia, here we go. That scares me. That really scares me. At Comic-Con in San Diego, this guy, Derek, and Scott McCall, the main alpha, <laughs> they were both there answering questions. And they said that there's some major character deaths. And this scene makes me think, if they fucking try to kill off Derek, I'm gonna fucking go mental. See, that's Scott, and I think... I think... Mm, I don't think Scott's dying. This up his neck. These are, um... Werewolves can take pain out of people. This is... Oh my god, what am I doing? This sounds so cringe. They can, like, suck the pain out of people. <laughs> Just by, like, touching their hand. If somebody's in pain, they can, like ease that pain they can take some of it on it themselves that's what scott's doing here with these little black veins but this is, mm. <gasps> hey allison she's alive she's right. back right right i've went oh i've went oh funny allison she's alive she's back when i heard these fucking words when i heard these fucking words uh, even this, right. So, in high school when Team Wolf was on, <laughs> when it was actually on the telly, I was 13, 14, and I was one of those teenagers that was like very much on Tumblr, and I was like, it's cool to be edgy and not show any fucking form of emotion whatsoever. Just be a fucking slab of concrete, and you'll be dead cool. No, obviously. I was weird. I feel very manic and sweaty because... Alison is here. I mean, they said Alison's back. She's in a hospital. I don't know if he's kidding, kind of put two and two together. She was like the main love interest for Scott, who was the guy who was saying that she's back. I don't want to spoil it, but fucking obviously they're saying she's back. Basically, you know, what am I trying to say again? Basically, I'm saying that in high school, I thought that, uh, yeah, I didn't show any emotion, but I wish Snapchat had memories at the time because I remember Snapchat and my friends when I saw that fucking episode bawling my eyes out when Alison happened to leave the show, shall I say. It was done so perfectly. And because the whole setup of the show was like, Scott's fell in love with this girl. It's kind of a Romeo and Juliet because her dad's a werewolf hunter and she's meant to become a werewolf hunter and he's the werewolf. It gets better than that. The love story fucking fades so fast. But it was just such a journey. And I remember just being like, I'm the fucking coolest wee lassie. I didn't cry at films. I didn't show any emotion. The second... Th it happened. I was I was down and out. I felt like taking a day off school. I was really horrifically upset. But now I'm now I can handle my emotions. Some may say too much. I come on stream and I just let them all out. <laughs> yeah, that's Alison's dad, who actually now goes out with Scott's mum, who's the nurse behind, which is kind of kind of awkward, you know. Hey, Alison, she's alive. She's back. Cheers to Alison. That's also quite scary because she looks like she looks like she means business. And I don't know if that's a good thing. I feel like she might be back, but Sutton's been corrupted. Sutton's gone wrong. Sutton's no right. I don't know. Sorry, I'll shut up now. <laughs> I just really had to get that out of my system. I hope you've enjoyed. I love Team Wolf, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs>